Here's meanwhile a brand new heat out in the water. Kanoa Igarashi, world number five from last season, taking on Yago Dora and Jackson Baker as well. Let's see how these three go out here. Kanoa Igarashi, who spent a lot of time in this part of the world, loves Portugal, got a home base down the coast. Ultimately, now, if you take that heat win as we watch a beautiful set wave here, look at this thing. Igarashi covering ground there. That one really opened up. Look like didn't quite get slotted as he would have hoped. Here he goes again. Also finding speed on this. Really nicely done as he punts above the lip. Does get the completion on that one. Some great performances last year. Had an injury troubled season early on. But when he came back, he came back really strong. Couple of thirds, Rio and j -Bay. And here he is on the forehand. Nice hit off the top. So much speed throughout the turn. A little wrap onto the inside as it goes small and throwing in the variety as well. So three distinctly different maneuvers and a decent way to open up for Yago. You can see how fired up he is right here. He's just really quick in the lip. Uh, he's found a way with a little uh, you know, punch in the pocket there. Uh, the mayhem looking good under his feet right there. So just, you know, really warm up wave, but really fast and flary. I love how he uses his size. You know, there's that body language, English. You know, he compresses when he needs to compress. He opens up. So it accentuates the turn, it lengthens the rail in his maneuvers. Again, he gets quick in turns and transitions and then compresses and then pops back up again. And so utilizing that size, <laughs> it's uh, only big human, you got to use stuff. Baker, bang, right off the top. Another quick hit right there. So, you know, Baker's one of those surfers where you're not going to see him go for those. All right, we saw it uh, this morning from Connor O'Leary. We saw it uh, from Miguel Pupo. And then we're seeing it again from Baker. I like that kind of surfing, fast, quick strong fundamentals here goes Doro with a quick in and out looking to go to the backhand surfed really well at Bay last year one of the standout performers at that wave so I was gonna say it's kind of <laughs> nice to see a, a surf they're, they're human yeah exactly right I do that all the time every session I'll be doing that but to see it actually happen here at the highest level Igarashi. it does happen here he goes what's he got for us here he's got some speed he's looking for a wrap he finds oh. one and again, he'll throw that one away. So we've seen a couple already of those from Igarashi. He's looking at those rights with the speed. I feel like he's identified the kind of waves he's looking for. Hey, there was all this momentum happening, and I had to like somehow stop it. Uh, and just, I couldn't. Live action here from Yagodora. Off the bottom, opens up with a quick hit in the pocket. And again, and he liberates the fins. Real technical surfing. Super sprightly and light on his feet for a big man. And gets it done for a finish. All right, let's pick up here as Yago goes on this replay. And some nice tags there, Strider. Beautiful surfing by Yago. Yago's on fire. I feel like he's just, you know, feeling comfortable. He's identified these nice little fun facts. To get scores in the last heat, Miguel Pupo is with Luisa. And looked like he was on, on a good one. So I think uh, this, this his heat's actually gotten really great momentum action as it comes in i've action again not wasting any time here's dora and just floats it up covers some ground and blows out the tail as well nice and smooth on that rotation so yago dora's not wasting any time here as he gets a wave gets another right behind it and this one really heating up in terms of the action has really sort of imposing themselves on the rest of the field. Let's stick with live. We'll revisit that. He's looking to do exactly that here. Baker nicely done. Light on his feet off the top. Drifts the tail and then tags it to finish. Another nice combination of turns from Jacko Baker. Easy answer is get good waves. <laughs> get the best waves in the heat. What do the judges want from me specifically? Uh, you know, and you think about Jackson, he's definitely one of those surfers that is able to utilize speed really well. Like where he, he turns, where he does his stuff. As we'll watch a concerted paddle effort here from Kanoa Igarashi. Another one of these running rights from him. A slightly smaller wave. Again, looking for a ramp, a flat spin. And he'll get the rotation done. That's going to feel a lot better. Third place in this heat. Not where he wants to be. Prior to that score coming in, it's quite a meaty number. He needs 6.93. But if you watch, the board doesn't really get up above the lip. He kind of projects out into the flats. And then, uh, you know, you, they really want to see that tail get up above the lip line. Uh, I like tennis a lot, you know, I follow all year long and uh, Luisa, it's a huge, I'm a huge fan of her, you know, because she had a pretty tough run. She got injured in a Grand Slam semifinal, which was really tough and 
she came back strong. She won the first medal for Brazilian tennis so um, on Olympics, so that's pretty nice too. Like you think about, there was some, you know, there were sponsor pressures and then there was family pressures as we see Kanoa here, important way for him. Schraupen off the top, opening up the shoulders. Igarashi tags it again. So a couple of maneuvers early on in this wave and he'll still want more. Gets a finish as well. A flat five, the requirement for him. He's not really been at the races thus far in this heat. Still got 11 and a half minutes. He's going to need a little bit more where that came from. Really fun to watch. And then bang, right back out there for one more. We talked about quick waves. Oh. And, well, this man is quick on the backhand and, and throwing it right up into the lip. Wow. Where'd that come from, Pete? Got to love it. Backhand hook. He was late, or I don't even know where. He was early, maybe, and he just was able to get that thing stomped in there. And then look at this. Whoa! Drops the kick tail. I mean, that was ridiculous. He's riding out of that? Come on. Where are you at? That was unbelievable, Baker. I love it. Spontaneity showing Casey something different. That's what he needs to do. In order to start getting into those you know, the quarterfinals, on to finals day. You know, he's, he's doing okay, but it's not what you would think after a Final Five uh, berth last year. Here goes Dora again, looking at a section. Went back on and then actually, you know, getting back up upright was really a beautiful thing for me. Here goes Baker again, using priority. Nice, smooth, shiny face for him. A speed turn off the top. And again, this one just running away from him a little bit. He's never really able to square up in the first couple of maneuvers. And he just kind of stomps the foot on a moosey section to finish. Not sure. That will be a huge number for Jackson. More importantly, he kept off his opponent, Kano Igarashi. Kept off his opponent. Here he is. Here goes Igarashi. What's he got for us here? A speed turn. That he was going to put up good numbers. In contrast, you know, Kano has been having a bit of a struggle. We saw this at the very first event of the year. You know, his first round heat at Pipeline. And no real major section down the line. Meanwhile, a bit of meat out the back door. Your heat leader whipping turn high in the pocket. Sets himself up. And goes vertical, pushes the board all the way through the lip. And the timing's sweet. And his confidence is growing and growing with every wave. You together and you're going to have some success. For sure. Yeah, and again, he's just looking at this going, oh, that's another little day at the beach break at home. Uh, you know, he's got this, such a solid backhand, um, you know, and the forehand. He's got aerials both directions. So he'd be coming into the seat. Well, Yago obviously uh, looking the best, but this was Kanoa trying to kind of clean it up, so to speak. A uh, quick three. Then back up into the lip, but he's trying to manufacture something out of there. Uh, he needs a pretty solid score. He's capable of doing that, though. Like uh, his surfing, um, the types of surfing that he can do on a mediocre wave is definitely one that can get bigger and fetch bigger numbers. <laughs> I'm discombobulated. He's discombobulated me because I was talking him up as a, as a title contender this this year. And, now I'm just, you know, on the back heels. Baker on a meaty one. He's got some speed off the bottom. What's he got off the top? Floats the first section. And he aims at this one. He'll slam it shut. Nicely done. Just kind of wrestle a little bit in the white water. And the judges will have a look at that. They can be quite harsh markers. They don't want to see our surface spending too much time in the white water. Baker goes left. Watch this in the replay here. But he goes in the lip and he glides up and over. And that's that adjustment. And that's where he keeps that board speed up. He's always about keeping the board speed up. So he goes into the next maneuver with a ton of speed. And that's why his technique is so good. Great foundation. All right, just over a minute to go. Dora was able to improve with the 5.77. And another look here at this wave from Jackson. He's really trying to consolidate on seconds. Yeah, you know, he, he looks really strong out there. And I think, the, and I really enjoy it. I feel like that, that solid just power surfing is what is pushing through today. I will say, though, judges were like, eh, yeah. loaders, 2.1. Well, no, 2.1 for that. wasn't like an amazing uh, scoring wave. I, I like the flow that he's keeping. Yeah, I, that, and that's what I say. That's part of his, you know, is the ability to keep that speed up always. Baker in live action again here. So not wasting any time, just making sure at the end of this heat. And he swings it around in rapid succession. Bringing it to the inside. Where's Kanoa Igarashi? He'll have priority. He'll be in the lineup alone right now. Under 20, looking for a 7-1. Kanoa Igarashi here flying down the line. Oh, oh. And that pretty much sums up how the heat's gone for him. And he'll be frustrated with the way that one worked out. Just unable to find opportunity. And you can see it on the kick out with the board. And I like to see that. I like to see uh, the emotion and, and the feeling of, you know, I really wanted to do well and he didn't. Igarashi will go to the elimination round. Dora 
and Baker will make it through. Opening day competition here at the Mayo Ripcoll Pro Portugal.